Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very sorry if I haven't posted in a while. Mm. I need to though. So, that's why I'm making this video. I I probably didn't tell you guys because I'm getting lazy. Mm. But, um, that was the finale of my Beginner's Guide series. And I'm pretty happy to say it was fun. Like, fun. And I really enjoyed it. But now that I don't have anything really to post about, I don't know what to do. Um, I still have a goal of a thousand subscribers because it's kind of hard to do art without posting stuff on the um, community tab thing. So. I guess I can just show off some dragons, um, maybe explain some of their backstories. Well. So this may be one of my, one of my longest videos. It just depends on <laughs> if I can go through with it in today, because this is the only time I can basically do it. You're going to say, oh, well, are you busy? I'm like, no, I just have very loud siblings. Thank you. And I don't always want to post, because... But I really should. Um, and my membership is going to expire on the 18th of June this month. So, hopefully I don't lose this slot. Because this is a member slot. And I don't know how that's going to work. But, yeah. Um, and I guess I can sh show you my dragons. Um, um, yeah. So, see you guys after the new and approved intro. We're gonna burn it down. Burn, burn it down. How was the new intro? I know it's amazing. Okay, so. I think I want to start with my one and only Titan, Benny. <laughs> His name is funny, isn't it? It's funny. Let's do it over there. Because it just looks decent. <laughs> My gosh. Guys, this is so slow for me today. My one and only Titan, Benny. I know they pretty much kind of resemble... Night Furies, Light Furies, all the Furious species, subspecies, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, they have some of the biggest wings, I think, besides Timberjacks, because bro, those things are massive. But, they are built for the Arctic. They look a lot like their supposed subspecies. I don't know if it's for sure. I still need to look that up. But they do have these antler-like horns, which makes me think maybe they kind of resemble reindeer. Some, except they don't look anything like them, and they're really toothy. Yes, they are very, probably actually the fluffiest dragon there is, because this is one of the only ones with apparent hair, as you can see. Hair, 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 hair. And they're titans. They are definitely bigger. Um, they kind of literally have like a lizard-like head because of the shape, in my opinion. And their feet look similar. They're, his up, his flying up movement, kind of, it actually resembles toothlesses. Moving up mo movement, and I'll show you that in a second. I'm sorry if this is really confusing, but I'm just showing you guys real quick. Slowly. I need, like, elevator music. See? It's the... Basically, looks like he's dislocating his wings. Mm, kind of funny, not gonna lie, but still. Okay, and then we also have... Dun 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 I'm looking through this. Oh yes, Dramillions. This guy 
He's pitch black. I don't remember why I made him like this, but he is definitely different. As you can see, his fire is white. And you may be asking, maybe they have, or maybe saying, they maybe he has just, you know, white fire. <laughs> you are terribly mistaken. They can mimic any type of fire in existence. Which is pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that one's some of the coolest ones. Um, they can even mimic Night Fury's Night Lights. The Light Fury is not very, like... They can mimic any single dragon in existence. Literally the coolest thing. Um, it's because they're supposed to be the mimicking dragons. Basically like clowns, but <laughs> clowns are scary. Oh my gosh, my aim is terrible. But yes, they can and they will probably kill you. Um, I don't remember what episode it was, but there was an episode where they almost got killed by Dramillions. But yes, it's a Dramillion. This is Psycho. Literally a Psycho, I'm telling you. Sorry. Okay, then we also have... Um, hmm, a Singe Tail. These were used against the dragon riders in one of the episodes as they have fire that comes from their tail and it's really hot so also looks really cool so i he looks like a candy cane doesn't he candy cane <laughs> candy cane that can kill you with fire too much peppermint i guess oh my okay <laughs> okay Yes, they kind of remind me of those flat lizards that can squeeze through anything. I don't remember what those things are called. I really need to look these up, but I'm not because mm, well, let's go. Hmm. Die boomerang. I can't say it right. But yes, these guys have massive wings. They're not as big as a timberjack. I think they have timber jacks. I'm just too lazy to go look. But yes. He's very, very, very bad at flying. <laughs> Even though he's massive wings. These guys remind me of giraffe with some killer neck. Horns, giant wings that could probably squash you. And then attitudes like his. So... Then, let's see. Let's do my Dread Strider. Delta. She's definitely one of my fastest dragons, but not while flying. You can leave that, leave that to the Light Fury. She's the fastest dragon for flying I own. Delta is the fastest running or walking dragon I own. Um, yeah. She reminds me of the raptors from Jurassic World, so I named her Delta. I could have named her Blue, but mm, she's not Blue. She's not, you know, you know, the colors of Delta either. But still really pretty. Definitely, I'm always going to keep her. Okay, and then we have... Hmm. T. Mama T, as I call her. Yep. I have. I don't even have her to the adult level, but she is a wind walker. I have the default skin, or as you'd call it, uh, her usual skin, which hero skin. And yeah, they're definitely skilled for water, wind, anything near the ocean can normally be found by the ocean because they have a croc-like head. Let's do Ice Shard. This silly little guy that I got from that one quest. Um, she's definitely different. 
telling you that they literally look like geckos so i'm pretty sure most of these are actually based off of different um reptiles like lizards because stretching oh sorry because lots of them resemble a lizard except a few maybe a beetle if i'm being honest because there's that one rhinoceros beetle thing that has that rhino horn not very fast i have to be honest but they do have pretty cool fire not gonna lie, it's blue and they're very rare out in the wild and it's pretty impressive especially for heather and then we have death songs they remind me of those like Dilophosaurus from Jurassic World. Yeah, because they have like that scary acid, you know? Except this one like bubbles up and you're scared and then I'll eat you. Um, they are pretty great dragons, if I'm being honest. Um, especially whenever they're happy, they have like a dog like tail wag and it's just so cute. Hmm. Guardian. Yep. Old man here. I'm not going to say much about you because you literally look like a volcano. Atlantic, I guess I could do her. She is definitely a hobgobbler. I do like that they added a very chubby and small dragon that you can it's just so cute. Who would ever get mad at this? Well, they'd be chewing on your feet, so it just depends. But yes, they remind me of, like, some chubby small dog. <laughs> like the ones your grandma overfeeds. Then we also have Sharp Fang. He's my death gripper. I don't think I use him very much because they aren't exactly fun to fly. But they are fun to play with. Their poison is pretty cool. Besides that they can literally control another one, which is kind of creepy, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I think that's all, because I don't feel like doing the rest of them. I can do a part two. If you guys comment part two, I'll probably do a part two. Bye, guys.